Leeds United artwork, though, first continuing to brighten up the city with a new Legends mural set to be unveiled at Pudsey Market tomorrow. It celebrates four of the club's greats who sadly have passed away in recent times, Jack Charlton, Norman Hunter, Trevor Cherry and Peter Lorimer. It's the work of the Leeds United Supporters Trust, along with Leeds fan and artist Nicholas Dixon. And I'm really pleased to say that Nicholas, along with Graham Hyde, who's vice chair of the Leeds United Supporters Trust, are both on the show tonight. Hello, both of you. Good evening, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Uh, Nicholas, let's start with you. Um, this sounds like it's been a real labour of love. How have you found it getting the idea in your head up onto the side of this big, big, it's like 33 feet, isn't it, overlooking Pudsey Market? Yeah, I think it's a little bit bigger than that as well. So uh, it, it keeps uh, keeps growing in size every day. So, But, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been, a, a, the, the process has been, uh, yeah, very, it's not just the, you know, the time, sort of um you know the idea in the head and uh the, the, the you know the actual time physically doing it it's been like i think 10 months um because it's um we've had to um it's had to go through planning uh with it with putsy being a conservation area so that's been very interesting to say the least um but we managed to get it through um you know to uh to obviously our, um you know our delight um and just to see it coming to its close now, the end. We're just here now. I just got down off the scissor lift. It's a bit windy up here today, but uh, as long as it's not raining, we can deal with uh, we can deal with uh, with a bit of wind. So it's just yeah, it's very very emotional to be honest. Uh, seeing it come to to an end, uh, you know, and um, all the hard work, you know, what we've what we've put in with my team. Um, John Metcalf, Tristan, and Phil Harris. I've just got to give them a big, big, uh, big thank you. Uh, I'm always for fascinated. Us get to this stage. So. Absolutely, Nicholas. I'm always fascinated, Nicholas, from an artistic point of view, as to how you come up with an idea and then not only get it from an idea in your head onto a, a small picture, but then to transfer that into an enormous mural. Is it quite a difficult thing to come up with a concept like that? And has it changed much since the original idea to what it looks like and now it's completed? Not, not, not really. I think, I'm, I suppose as part of being an artist is you've got, you know, the, um, you, 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 the eye, if you like. So when, when I when I've um, when I saw when I saw the wall straight away, I, I pretty much knew what I wanted to do with it, and uh, you know a little bit of tweaking here and there. So it's 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 sort of three three pieces of art in one because you've got the the apex, which is like geometric, and it's uh, it's got the we are so proud, which is from marching on together, obviously. Um, and it's in a like a, a ray, uh, sort of like a, a rising sun uh, going over the apex, but it's shooting out, and you can see it all over Pudsey pretty much, do you know. And then, and then, the, then the back background is my unique, uh, if I may say so, um, abstract shapes. But uh, but the main part of the, the you know the the piece is is the the legends, you know, which like I said. Just seeing them sort of come to life, if I can use that phrase, um, is is very emotional, you know. And it's because uh, I'm not that's not my I'm not a figurative painter by you know sort of as a rule. So it's been very challenging because the last thing I wanted to do was do you know do, do a, a misjust you know an yeah. injustice if you like because yeah, Jack, Jack 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 Charlton were looking a little bit like um, Quagmire off. Uh, Family guy earlier in the week, so I was a little bit, bit uh, I was a little bit worried at that point, but I managed to pull him back, and uh, yeah, so I'm really happy with how it's how it's turned out. So oh, yeah, great. Couldn't, couldn't be happier. Couldn't be happier. Graham, we heard Nicholas allude to this at the start of our chat. It's that it has been a long time coming, a lot of preparation, a lot of groundwork going into this, a, a real labour of love for everybody involved with the Leeds United Supporters Trust as well. I imagine. Very much so. I mean, look, you know, let, let's let's try not try and take any of the credit away from Nick. The work that he has just produced, honestly, when you see it, it it's like probably one of the greatest gifts that will ever be given to the city of Leeds from an art point of view, from a public art point of view. So it's a phenomenal, phenomenal thing. In terms of the the, the work that's gone into it, not just Leeds United Supporters Trust, we've. Um, 
also worked with the Scandinavian fans, Luskos, about raising, so raising some of the money, some local businesses from Pudsey. Um, and working Nick tirelessly and just so kind of, you know, doggedly to get this through uh, the planning permission and bring it to life. And then, you know, in, in baking sunshine, you know, up and down that scissor lift, lift with his uh, sort of support team, just creating brilliant, brilliant things. And how receptive have the market traders been to it? Because ultimately they're going to be there, they're going to be looking at it every single day. Have you had positive feedback so far? Yeah, absolutely. Is that, sorry, was that me or Graham? <laughs> Either you, you or, I don't that, mind. You take, you take that one, Nick. Yeah, cheers, man. Well, yeah, no, you know, it's an overwhelming big thumbs up from the traders, you know. Uh, they've been on board from day one, you know. It's like that's their, you know, this is their livelihood. And, and what we're trying to, you know, this is more than a football mural. You know, this is this is part of Leeds culture from, you know, 50, 60 years. These guys have done so much for the city. You know, it's like we, we've just had people, you know, like the older generation coming up say, you know, we used to dance with them, at, you know, with Norman and Billy Bremner, and Jack Chow, all in the Mecca, you know, and, and, and it's just, it, it, it evokes memories, you know, that, that's part part of their, you know, it's intrinsic in, the, in the, you know, the, the makeup of, of Leeds, you know, and, and it's like, so people when they say, oh, it's a football, it's not a football mural, this is a culture mural, you know, so um, obviously football was their trade, but they did, they did far more than that for the city, you know, just them playing football, so it's, 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 it's brilliant, and um, but what we're, what we're hoping to do as well, we've got a proposal together, I mentioned it the other day, but it's really important because we're, um, you know, we're wanting to, you know, once I think people see the reaction, you know, that, that what this could actually change, not just the market, but Pudsey as a whole, you know. Um, it, it, so, but, but the, all the, the market stores, a company called Image Co, um, and they do vinyl vinyl wrapping, commercial vinyl wrapping. So they're, they're on board and they're, we're put, putting a proposal together to, to, to um, for Leeds City Council and the councillors up here as well. So, um, and we've just got to convince them that this, you know, to um, to wrap the, the canopies so you, you, they'll be visible from the planes coming into Leeds and Bradford Airport, you know, and then wrap all the stalls, you know, and um, it, it, it make it a full on art install. It'll be just a total revamp for the market. And, and you know, and it's not going to cost the, the council one penny, you know, so and and it, it, it costs fifty, sixty thousand pounds that, you know, if if they were having to put their hand in the pocket. But mm. you know, so we're just hoping that, you know, they can see the positive sides of this and the bigger picture and uh, and let's get some uh, people to uh to put the market, you know. Absolutely. So, yeah, definitely. And and kind of bigger picture stuff as well, Graham, from the trust point of view, because there are loads of really amazing artworks from, you know, Nicholas has not only done the one at Pudsey, but um, the Bielsa, the Redeemer picture, picture, that's not doing it justice in any way, the, the mural <laughs> for that as well. Um, and I understand that you're trying to launch something on your website so that people can actually go and find all these murals and, and have a good search around and go and see them in person. And, and that's something that you've been working on too. It is indeed. So that's hoping to be live sort of within the next week or, or so. Um, but we haven't finished. You know, there's another one going to be starting very, very soon. You know, just helping to fill this void in the summer so that people don't care about the Euros. They can worry about Leeds United a little bit more. So we've got some more of that to do. Um, and basically, yeah, so that'll be happening over the summer. The launch of the website will give people a little bit of guide, a bit of interactive uh, sort of uh, information about the particular sort of murals so that there's a bit more detail for people because we know that from our members and from other fans that are just constantly in touch with us people want to be able to almost do a tour of these to be able to go around see them feel kind of how connected each of the different sort of murals are to their location to the part of Leeds and see that it is really a truly one club city Graham what's the next one and where is it and is Nicholas painting it uh, no, no, Nicholas isn't <laughs> painting this one. As I said, to be fair, Nicholas, is, is, he needs a break after this one, honestly. <laughs> I'm, I'm not surprised. Not work, <laughs> um, but yeah, so no, the next one that we've got, we've got coming up. Um, I can't tell you what it is at this stage. 
um, but it's likely to be sort of Meanwood area, um, and it's involving uh, Adam Duffield, who painted the uh, Pablo one for us on the Duffield Drake. Uh, and the champions mural at Ellen Road. So Adam's picking up the uh, picking up the paintbrushes this time. <laughs> well, we look forward to seeing where you go with that, Nicholas. Many congratulations. I've not seen it a hundred percent finished, but the images I've seen so far, it looks amazing and has well, a real impact. So um, you can sit back and brilliant. be very proud of that. And thank you. Go and put well, your. I'll make sure I'm, I'll, yeah, I'll put my feet up after this. Well, I can't <laughs> anyway. So I'm doing something for the Olympics after this. So it's. Uh, it's all go, go, go. <laughs> so, but, um, anyway, so I'm showing off a bit there. I'm, you know, I'm on radio. Like that, so, but, uh, Keeps but you out of mischief. Just, um, can, <laughs> yeah, can, I, can I just uh, give a shout to the to the other contributors as well? Um, sure. Uh, the, the Avanza Care uh, and Baker Harding. Uh, and I've also already mentioned, obviously, the Trust, the Legion Act Trust uh, and the Scandinavian uh, Supporters Club. Um, and image coat as well. So that's it. You know, without without all all those all those parties coming together, this wouldn't be happening.